Hi, I am Julian De Luca. In this video, I'll talk about uh, the People Picker, a component uh, available in the Office UI fabric, uh, front end uh, framework. Um, essentially, this uh, this framework uh, gives to the user a really immersive uh, and uh, completely seamless um, experience into Office and uh, Office uh, 365. Um, we have here uh, an example on the Office UI Fabric uh, uh, component and uh, we have a behavior, uh, behavior of this component. Um, so here we can, uh, we can write a, a name of a, of a person that we want to find and uh, here we have a result. But this is uh, static. Uh, this is not a, a real uh, use case. This is not the, the real life. So uh, to fill this, this gap, I created a, a solution, a SharePoint uh, hosted app. And um, essentially with this app, um, you, can, uh, you can search uh, a person and uh, you after after that you will receive a, a response from the SharePoint uh, search with a list of uh, of people. Um, we can go forward with the, the the example. I deployed my SharePoint hosted app uh, on my uh, set collection on my SharePoint online tenant and. Uh, Basically, I created a two two component, two people picker, one single people picker, and uh, another one multiple picker people picker. So here, for example, I can find for my name, and uh, yeah, here I am. Here I can search other other people. And green is really the response is really really fast. Okay, and another and another important aspect is uh, this. Um, every time that you you find a um, a person, for example, yeah, as you can see. Um, the, the app perform a, a request, a REST API call um, versus the SharePoint search. And if I click here, I can see the response from the SharePoint search. And here I have all the information about the, the person that, uh, that I found. Um, we can go forward with the code. Mm, this is my my solution in the default uh, ASPX. I reference the CSS and JS file. I use the Office UI Fabric JS. In the <coughs> another in another demo, I um, I will do the same, but uh, with SharePoint framework, and I will use uh, React. In this case, I use the uh, uh, Office UI Fabric uh, JS, and uh, I referenced my um, JavaScript file uh, using uh, the the CDN, the public CDN that I installed on my SharePoint Online tenant. But uh, if you want, you can uh, uh, choose uh, this other option and. Uh, Use an internal references. So basically, we have a app uh, JS, <coughs> and uh, when the the document uh, is is ready, um, I do the initialize of the people picker and the people picker multi, um, and after that. <coughs> 
I call the the function that are available here and this other file that I create people picker js and here we have the business logic of the people picker component uh, we can take a look uh, uh, to this function that is really in, important after the, the user has uh, typed the for charter start the rest api call and uh, <clears throat> i insert here a row limit uh, uh, to 10 and this is really important i specified the source id uh, this to um, limit the the range of field <clears throat> uh, and restrict the search only for people and the user profile and that's all yeah my application is also available on uh, github then uh, feel feel free to to give your uh, contribute as you prefer you are welcome i hope that this uh, this uh, demo um, will be useful for you and enjoy office 365